coach welcome back to the channel now if you haven't yet make sure you subscribe because every single day we're putting out content which is designed to help you with your sports training business and also if you are interested okay you can set up a free 15 to 20 minute call with me if you visit the link in the description, you will find my Calendly calendar where you can schedule a free 15 to 20 minute call to discuss uh, with me any business ideas you have, either if you're starting up, if you already have a business that has clients and you want to take it to the next level, right? You can schedule a free call with me there and I'll be more than happy to jump on, ask you a couple of questions about your business, see where you are and see how you can get how we can help you to get to the next level okay so two ways to contact me number one is through my calendly link in the description or okay you can send me a direct email to to my to my work email which is make money coaching sports at gmail.com okay so those are the two ways if after you, you've watched this video, you're, you're thinking to yourself, Do you know what, I want to get on a call with Leo. Those are the two ways I want you to try and get in contact with me and see if we, are, if we can help you to take your business to the next level. Right, so today I want to talk about the steps to a successful soccer training business. Now, for those that are maybe just watching this channel for the first time, Right. I am the sales manager uh, slash success coach here at the company. I've been working with sports trainers for over three years now. But I've also been in the soccer training industry for 14 years. So I'm currently based in the UK uh, and I have my own program, which I run. Okay? And also I work with some very, very successful coaches who currently have businesses that are doing anywhere between 50 to 100K per year. Sometimes we have clients that are doing more, right? So got a lot of experience in this industry and especially in this niche, okay? So as I mentioned at the beginning, if you want to get in contact with me, okay, two ways to do that, either my Canonly link in the description or you can send me a direct email, okay? So... Steps to a successful soccer training business, right? Now, I speak with coaches every single day that are either reaching out to, to our company, okay? They might have an idea about starting or they want to grow and scale the business. But also, we do reach out to coaches. So we're, we're very active on Instagram, we're very active on our email marketing list. We're always reaching out to coaches to try and connect to see where they are uh, and to try and help as much as we can. So what I want to do is I want to break down three very simple steps to starting and to growing a successful soccer training business, right? So the first one, on my screen is you've got to set up the business legally so if you're at the first beginning stage of the business right technically you don't have a business until you have it all set up legally right so legally means you have it registered and once it's registered you are able to to file taxes and pay tax taxes on your profits that you make Right. So setting up legally is not only going to give you a peace of mind, but it's also going to help when it comes to to your taxes. However, you pay them, whether you pay them quarterly, whether you pay them at the end of the year, depending what what part of the world you, you're based in. Okay? It's going to help you now. Technically, you don't have a business until you are legally set up. And what a lot of coaches are, are doing at the moment, and especially in soccer, is they are running everything cash in hand and they don't have an actual proper business set up. So 
they might open an Instagram page with their company name and parents are reaching out to them. They, they start working with clients, but because they haven't got their, their systems in place, because they don't have a proper business legally set up, they're getting paid cash in hand and all that profit that they're making is going into their personal account, which then becomes very difficult to track at the end of the month to see, right, how well did my business do? Right. So what we want to do is we want to set up the big business legally so that if any parent approaches you and wants your service, they can do some research and, 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 and see whether you are actually a legit business and whether you are actually, you've taken the time to actually set up everything properly. Like the worst thing is parents giving you cash and ultimately they don't know who you are. Okay. You don't have the business legally set up. You're just taking cash in hand, right? It just sounds very, very dodgy. Okay. So we want to set up the business legally and the best way to do this, okay, so the, whichever part of the world you're in is to find a local accountant in your local city, okay? So in the US, it's a CPA. If you're in the UK, it's, a, it's an accountant and they will be able to direct you in the right way how to legally set up your business. Okay, so there's, there's many different types of ways you can set up, right? So you can set up as a sole uh, proprietorship, which is basically self-employed, or you can set up as a company, which in the UK it's called a private limited company. In the US it's LLC. And there are pros and cons to both, okay? So, Setting up the business legally is going to lead you to success because that is going to give you more credibility to clients and it's going to just help you when it comes to your, your taxes and so you don't get in trouble from uh, your local government So and they're able to track if you are paying or you're not paying taxes. Okay. Now, we've worked with a lot of coaches in the past who haven't set up a legal business and then they get caught getting paid cash in hand and then the fine is ultimately bigger than what they're actually making. And it, so in some cases, it destroys people's, not only just their business, but it destroys their family, their, their life. And it's just a, a very horrible thing to happen. And it's something that can be avoided, right? Now, the second one is we need to look to purchase liability insurance. Okay, so I know we work with a lot of coaches in the US and obviously in the US, the, the health system is mainly private. So most people in the United States have to have private, um, private health insurance if something happens, whether they get injured or whether they have a health, a health issue. Uh, if you're in the UK, we obviously have the, the, the National Health Service, which is, which is a, a public service. But as a coach, even if, if you're based in the UK, even if a client gets injured in, during your training session, right, just because we have a National Health Service doesn't mean that that parent may not sue you all right, or take you to court for negligence, right? So you've got to be really, really careful. And most coaches in the UK don't take the time to purchase uh, insurance because really and truly they can't be bothered and they don't want to spend the extra little bit of money, okay, that they need to spend in order to purchase it, right? So if you want more information on that, get in contact with me, right? I'll be able to direct you with... A couple of companies that we know okay that we know that some coaches within our program have and use right so if you're in the us okay we do have coaches in our program that that have purchased uh, insurance so we can direct you in in that way and also 
if you're watching this and you're based in the UK, then I I can share with you a company that's really good for, for private trainers, right? But it's really important that you do have insurance because ultimately it's going to protect you and your business. Also, if, for example, depending on what part of the world you, you're based in, maybe in the winter you need to use an indoor facility, right? No indoor facility will hire to you unless you have insurance, Okay, because that protects them from any damages that happen while you're using that facility. Okay, so if you're in a very, very cold country, then you need to have insurance because if something breaks, right, or one of your players smashes a window, the, whatever happens within, within that location, within that facility you're renting out, right, that company can, can sue you or take you to court for, for, for damages, right? And if you're not insured, then ultimately you have to pay that from your, your company or your, your personal, uh, personal account, right? So we don't want that. Let's get insurance and let's get set up properly, all right? Now, the third one is the most important thing and it's learning sales, right? In order to have a successful soccer training business, we need to learn how to sell. We need to learn how to market ourselves to parents, right? So one very simple strategy that when I speak to coaches who have businesses, I share with them is aim to speak to at least three parents per day about your business, right? So this could be parents that you come across maybe in your local YMCA or you come across at, at a field, maybe you're, you've gone to watch some matches and you start speaking to parents, right? But aim to connect with free parents per day and have them learn about your business, right? If you aren't selling, you won't have a business long-term, okay? Because sales equals income and income equals a business, okay? So learn how to sell, learn how to speak, how to communicate with clients, with parents, right? And just learn how to get yourself out there in front of people and to promote what you're doing, okay? So a very simple strategy that we share is talk to free prospects per day about your business, right? So if you do that, that's ultimately 15 parents that you're getting in front of per week, right? And over the course of the month, that, that adds up. And the more parents that start to know about what you're doing, start to learn about your business, right? Ultimately, the, the chances are someone will be interested and someone will be looking for your help, right? I always say to coaches that this type of industry is high in demand, but you need to put yourself out there and you need to speak to parents and get parents to know who you are, what you do, what you specialize in, and how you can help their child, okay? So if you need help on any of these three things that I've uh, spoken about today, right, as I mentioned earlier, get in contact with me. You can schedule a 20 to 30 minute call with me wherever you are in the world, right? If you're based in the US, if you're based in Europe, okay, get in contact with me. Best way to do that is visit my Calendly link, in the description you can book a free call there right this is a call where we jump on zoom i learn a bit more about what you're doing about your business and i can share with you some strategies some tips that we have been working with coaches on in our program and that you can take away and implement this week in your business right if you don't want to do that and if you just want to send me a question right please do so. You can send it to my uh, business email, which is makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Right. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.